Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 36. Let's play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, almost everybody has a Satan victory here, well, except for Blue Baby and Azazel. So, I think we should have ourselves another Azazel run, just for the sheer awesomeness that we're about to have. Of course, he always starts with a Fool, which is very disappointing, but expected. Because I've noticed that the last time we played as Azazel, he also had the Fool card again. So, this is no different. So, when we had an Azazel run, it was downright crazy. As soon as we got Tammy's head, everything just went so well for us. Lemon Party, well, not terrible. But our item room is Best Friend. I'm probably one of those people that don't mind Best Friend. In fact, I'll use it right here to destroy all these pots and get a nice bit of money, and now I can use it again. How's that for efficiency? Oh, we're gonna get some bombs out of this, so maybe the secret room is right over here? Uh, it's debatable at this point. It's too soon to say. I would like to find it as soon as possible, just for the sake of doing so. It could be something very valuable. We're already gonna get a lot of value from the shop anyway. So that's a good thing for sure. Also, I should be using my best friend, you know, just to look for stuff. I know the secret room wasn't there because of that pot in the way, but I just wanted to blow that up. Could have had some money. But that obviously did not happen, and I don't know if the shop's worthwhile yet. It could be once we're done checking out this room. At least it gave us a battery charge, and red patch? I think I'd rather that. In the grand scheme of things, at least we got this ready for the boss. Oh, it's a haunt. This one could be annoying. You gotta wait till these boss, I mean these ghosts, are actually hittable. And then you can just go do some damage, and... Whoa, okay. Hey, when the haunt does that. That's why you can put yourself at a real disadvantage if you're just, like, hugging the sides. Because you might just do that sudden dash. And now a haunt is dead. Unfortunately, I took some damage, but... I guess we'll go down to the next floor. If only Best Friend can charge faster, then I probably would have got more use out of it. But alas, it just didn't work that well against the hunt because it just wouldn't go towards it. Oh well, it happens. Lard? I don't know. We'll save that for later. I mean, Red Hearts are nice because last time I had an Azazel run, I was in danger of dying real fast. But Lard will just make me move slower, so I don't feel that good about taking it. I do feel good about wiping out Monstro. Oh, that was a good use of it. Like, I just wait for it to hop all the way up in the air, and we land on it. Oh, we're doing really well so far, so I'll take that HP upgrade. Necronomicon, I'm not going to take. I'd rather stick with Best Friend. So let's do a little bit of exploring. I mean, we haven't really done much of that. We can check here for the secret room. That's a good spot. Not the best, because it would be adjacent to the boss room. So maybe it wasn't all that great after all. Not terrible, but not great. So we can probably bomb our way into the shop. Awesome, we can. And we'll get even more money. Okay, so... Definitely having some high hopes for this run, having a boss rush. Well, then again, we already beat the boss rush as Azazel. We got the nail out of that, didn't we? Uh, fanny pack? Or should I go with the battery? I'm definitely going fanny pack. It saved my life so many times. And now I just don't have any money to go into the arcade because I donated it like an idiot. I should have just tried to get into the arcade and then take it from there. But no, I didn't do that. Guppy's tail? Oh, of course, I don't get money here either. I guess I can just blow up the donation machine once and then just go back into the arcade. And then once I get the money, then you know, I can put it back. I guess I could... Ah, damn it. I guess I could do that. I was kind of hoping that hit would give me red hearts, but it didn't. Yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow that up, and then we'll just, like, go to the arcade. Maybe we should... Should we go to the arcade at all? 
kind of low on health, but then again, if we take the lard, we'll have lots of health. So I think I will take it, even though it's a speed downgrade. Yeah, I'm really noticing the lowering of my speed. Maybe we should just not do that and just leave. You know, I'm not going to bother with the arcade. We'll probably run into another one later. I'm just wasting so much time thinking about my options. Even though min-maxing is not terrible, it just would be a bit of a waste of time. And again, I shouldn't worry about being so fast with the Zazel. Again, I got the boss rush completed. I don't need to again. Maybe as other characters, yes. But in the grand scheme of things... Oh, now I get the penny. But in the grand scheme of things, we're doing just fine. Maybe I should try to bomb my way into the secret room rather than just spend my one key. Okay, I guess I am going to have to use my key. And we get Dr. Fetus? Oh, God. Now I don't have to worry about bombs ever again. Zazel looks so awesome with the top hat. Look at him. Isn't he so adorable? Just trying to destroy things. Oh, there's a pill over there. Hopefully that doesn't destroy me. Ah, hematemesis. Well, it's okay. You know what? I will take the purple heart. Red patch is okay, but in the grand scheme of things, I think I'd rather purple heart just for the sake of getting more champions. Now, could this actually backfire? Because remember when we did that challenge run, Dr. Fetus was really nerfed. I don't know if it's going to be like that in a regular run, but I'm not surprised if it will. Because so far, he's not really paying out too much. There, those enemies are deceased. And let's check out our curse room for a moment. The only good thing about, like, Dr. Fetus is that at least we can d bomb walls up. And then just don't have to worry about using bombs ever again. Even though regular bombs are still going to be doing more damage. It's just too bad, you know. Kind of does reduce Azazel's damage an awful lot. So maybe it was a bad idea, but then again, I did have Curse of the Blind. So I would not have known. So... Let's just hope for the best. I'm so glad I can still destroy these in one hit. Whoa, 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 full of hell here. Hopefully these pills are good. You know, just give me a little bit of something for my bombs. That'd be real nice. Full health. That that is good. Lockdown. That's not good. In fact, I hear Luck Down is much worse in this game than it was in traditional Isaac. Like, it's just straight up bad now. As opposed to exploiting it just for more stuff. Ah, range up? Well, it's okay. Oh my god, how did I not see that coming? I was too preoccupied with the green guys. I forgot about the poop monster. Poop monster just sounds like something you would just tell your kids. You know, like at the horror stories or what happens if you don't eat fiber, that the poop monster will come over to haunt them. And, you know, if you don't eat fiber, you're going to have, like, lots of hard stools. So, the poop monster will practically be a golem. No, not the Pokemon golem, but you know exactly what I mean. That's just the worst kind of monster. Also, I like to blow up this corpse, thank you. Ah, it didn't really have anything for me. Now, do I want to spend some money on those mystery items? That thing is not dead yet? Wow. Talk about longevity. Oh, this one's not dead either. I forgot about that. It's not a regular secret room. Wasted a key to get there, though. Oh, and, you know, of course, give me more bombs, even though I'll never be needing them. Didn't you know that's much appreciated. Yeah, he's got, like... Dr. Fetus, he might as well just give him more bombs. You know, rather than keys that he could still be needing. There's a pill over there. I think that was from the mushroom. Okay, so now I kind of feel bad about this Azazel run, because remember, the short weight range Brimstone, even though it's very short range, is still very powerful. But now that I've taken that out of the equation, I have to rely on Dr. Fetus bombs, which aren't that awesome anymore. Hmm. 
You know what? I think we should go with Liberty Cap. You know, if you don't have a compass, Liberty Cap is actually pretty good. Because now you might have a chance for a compass. You know, provided you don't have Curse of the Lost, which neutralizes your chances anyway. But still. It'll still do alright. I don't know why I checked here for the top secret room. It's not gonna be there for sure. Let's hope this works. Well, it worked ish. We got one of them whittled down. And let's not forget, I mean, Magic Mushroom does have the chance to give you, like, an all stats up in one room. By way of the Magic Mushroom. Ooh, that internal heart was nice. We get another HP upgrade for that. I think we should donate money until we get to, like, 250. I have a feeling the next tier of rewards will be around that landmark. Because we're not going to have enough money to buy this stuff. That didn't get us there? Hmm, maybe there isn't a reward at 250. Oh well, we got ourselves halfway there to 300. So that's not too bad. It's going to take a lot of runs just to get the maximum amount of output from our shops. Okay, well, now we're in the cave, so at least now we can see. We didn't get any curse on that at all, which is nice. That bat's still alive. That's not nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me more bombs. It's not like I have any means of blowing walls up myself anyway. Oh, wait, I do. No, wait, there's a secret room over there. And there's a slot machine. I don't want to play it. That was kind of pointless. But we had to take a shot at it. Well, there's our item room if I can actually, you know, get in there. Look down, I don't want. Get rid of that right away if I can. I heard if you just, like, hold down control, you can drop your items. So I'll take the Liberty Cap, but I definitely don't want the lockdown pill. Okay, I don't have any keys, but I remember the secret room is adjacent to that particular room. So that'll save me some trouble. Ooh, leech! Not Brian leech, by the way, but leech is actually a pretty good item. It'll definitely be helpful taking on enemies. So that'll be nice for us. And it looks like there's our shop right over there. Ooh, there's a judgment too. Let's wait on a sec second. If we don't get any keys, then you know judgment is more palatable. Otherwise, I might consider going to the shop, because you know, if we find greed, then judgment's more useful anyway. So we got plenty of options from there. We just gotta weigh them depending on what we get. Obviously, Leech is paying dividends. I think he gives me health whenever he kills enemies, so that's pretty awesome. Thank you for that soul heart, and thank you for that nickel. Leech will be very useful, you know, if I start taking red heart damage again. Which could happen at some point, like in the later levels. Later levels is probably that unplanned sequel to lost levels. It's just mostly Hammer Brothers everywhere, that's all it is. Because they were pretty much the most annoying enemies to deal with in lost levels. No matter who you were playing as, maybe you were playing as Luigi just for that high jumps. Oh my god, you can eat best friend too? I did not know that! How did I avoid damage? And Chubb is constantly taking damage because of the leech, so that's pretty good too. Alright, just a little bit more, thank you. Oh, you're still alive. And we got Pageant Boy, so that gives me more money. That's awesome-ish. It's only seven cents. Hmm. I don't really know if the mark really helps me in the grand scheme of things. But I guess I might as well take it. It is still a damage up. Does it really add up to my bombs? I have no idea. But we might as well do it anyway in the event it does. Also, we really need to look for a key, because I want to go to the shop. 
Still plenty of rooms over here. And there's no greed in the shop because we see a mid-boss in this room. So that makes me feel very confident about our chances. Okay, so this could take a little while. Oh, there's our key. Let's fight our boss right away. And it's slot. I can get a tarot card, I can get Bob's right head. Which I don't know which I'd rather want. Well, Hero Fan's pretty good. Ooh, but I'm tempted about that gold chest as well. Why do you tempt me, cruel fate? Yeah, my best friend is still very valuable. If Bob's right head did show up. Okay, so far so good. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're going to find any more keys. So I will go to the shop because that gives us more options as opposed to, well, the gold chest, which might give us Tammy's head, but how does it really work with Dr. Fetus? I have no idea. Oh, now I can afford a lot more stuff. So, we'll take the steam cell. Then we'll take, like, hive mines. And we get giant spiders and flies. And we'll donate the rest of this money. Which was not a lot. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I'll bring the rest to this guy. Which I hope you pay up with something really good. Or something at all. Something at all. Something at all. Okay, now we can go back for that gold chest, maybe. Come on, that's the last money. Well, you're an ass. Alright, so, you know what? Let's check out that gold chest. I am wasting a bit of time here, but that's okay. Sometimes you do have to do a little bit of min-maxing for success. And we didn't get a key back. That's very shitty. But, what are the odds we never find a key in the next floor? I mean, it's Depths and Necropolis, which has a lot of rooms anyway. So, I mean, there might be a chance we find a key. At least one of them. Yeah, I forgot we got a nickel from that gold chest, so we can pay this guy up a bit more. Come on, hook me up with something real good, like anything at all. Thank you. Not the best, but it does counteract that luck down pill, to some extent. What is my luck at, anyway? Ah, it's still pretty bad. Oh yeah, we didn't even go over my seed. It's Z-H-S-C-E-K-R-Y. Zach sucks Ekans Ryback? I don't know. Feed me, mon! As in Pokemon. <laughs> I tried. Not very hard, though. Alright, so now we're at the depths. I feel very good about our chances still, even though these bombs are not that great. But not terrible either. It's like, we have decent damage. Not groundbreaking damage, but damage. Well, technically we are breaking the ground if you can count the walls. But you know what I mean. Also, we should check here if there was like a secret room adjacent to the curse room, and there isn't. Maybe there's something adjacent to this. Ah, there we go. Okay. Mushrooms are looking very tempting. This is not about shrooms, kids. We're not talking about drugs. That's a full health pill. That's very palatable. Lemon party, not so much. Hematemesis, not so much. But we're finding more pills. Amnesia, definitely don't want. I'll stick with a hero fan. Thank you very much. Because it'll allow us to survive a little bit longer. What's this last uh, mushroom? Nothing. Alright. Lots of pills here. It's kind of like an underground drugstore. Not that I've ever been to one. It'd be a pretty bad drugstore if they only sell individual pills as opposed to, like, a dose. Or, like, a weekly prescription. That's kind of shortchanging it quite a bit. Not that I'm going to give you advice on how to run your own underground pharmacy. Because, I mean, there are regulations you got to follow. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Got through that quickly. Still haven't found our shop or item room yet. That's kind of annoying, but not terrible. Range on these fetus bombs are still pretty bad. Leech can't do enough damage just to kill these enemies before they reform again. I'm going to 
to hold off on that mob trap room till later. That's another hematemesis pill. I'm going to hold off on that. Smartfly is actually very good. I do like Smartfly an awful lot. Okay, so. Shop is still worthwhile, even though we only got two cents. If we find greed, then it's even better. Just remember, like, any kind of shop is worthwhile, because you might be lucky enough to get the credit card item, which alone makes shops a godsend. Especially if you find a really good one. Oh, I opened that by accident. This could be interesting. How does this work? Am I just gonna throw random bombs everywhere? Let's test this out. Oh my god. This has gotten to awesomeness again. This is what Tammy's head can do. This is a, a bit of a wet dream, but also a nightmare. Like maybe a dry nightmare? Is that what you call like the opposite of a wet dream? It's like a wet dream is when you wake up and then you find out you you had a nocturnal emission. I'm not gonna go into any details what nocturnal emissions really are in case you don't know. You can look them up yourself. A dry nightmare would probably to the point that your dick shrivels up. I went there. I don't know why I picked that up again. But I guess I just move a bit too fast. Also, did I check here for the top secret room? I think I'm missing out on a few of those. I don't want to play this. So I'll take the money. Go on, take the money and fly, I guess? I almost said go on, take the money and run, but Azazel has wings, so why would he run? If I could just fly, why would I just go on feet? Also, these genies are so annoying. Oh, still one left. Two left, actually. That's worse. Come on. I should be using my uh, Tammy's uh, fetus attack, but... Tammy's fetus? Really? Like that attack, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to aim. But man, it just makes things so interesting. Like, things will easily go off the rails, but you better get away fast. You want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's just how it goes. Go risking your life for no reason. Can you find a secret shop here? That'd be really nice. And let's fight our boss. Ah, it's Loki. I have a feeling that Tammy's head with Dr. Fetus is one of those really awesome items. Like, if you're a Zazel, Tammy's head is pretty much its best item in the entire run. Okay, we got a new pill. Ah, oh, it's bad gas. Okay, do I really want to go back to the shop? Because there were some items there. So let's do that. I can buy one of them. Can't buy them all, though. And... Well, we don't really need the blue map, because, I mean, we can just pretty much see everything anyway. Uh, God, this is a tough decision. Kind of wish I had one more cent that I can just buy the Champion's Belt or the key. But I think I'm just going to take the key. Champion's Belt, yes, it's awesome because of the damage up and you see more champions. However, there's still, like, that very high risk that things can really go wrong. And we don't really need the blue map because we can just find the top secret rooms in the secret room anyway. Oh, I don't know why I stood there. But I'll definitely take Cricket's head. Oh, we got the Parasite unlocked! Sweet! I guess it's because I picked up so many rotting items. Oh, that's so great! I think I picked... I unlocked the Parasite in my traditional Isaac file, but not in this one. I didn't realize that until now. Also, we got enough money to buy that Champion's Belt as well. Oh, we got even more money! So hopefully we can find an arcade as soon as possible. So that would be awesome! Hero Font is also awesome, so I will be popping that right now. Wait, you know, because we're still here, I might as well just go back and get the full health pill. It wasn't... What's this one? 
health down? Oh, man. That bites. Okay, yep. This one's the full health. Alright. So, let's head back to the shop one last time. And then we'll just pick up whatever we need. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take the blue map anyway. To save on some looking around. We'll take the champion belt. Then we'll take the blue map. That's probably another full health pill, so we'll just leave that alone. Like, why? Well, I, I can't take two of them. So I'm better off just as is. Let me check these rocks. You, you might find something different. I know none of them were tinted, but still. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Okay, secret rooms are obviously to the right. Let's save on that for later. Oh, why'd I go that way? That was just dumb. Like, that's the one place you should not go. Is that in the same spot where your bomb is going? I like Dr. Fetus 101. In fact, that's any game 101. And I still went into my own bomb like an idiot. I guess that's a, the disadvantage of, like, Tammy's head and Dr. Fetus. Is that... You pretty much have to find a lucky spot. And more often than not, you're not going to find it at all. You better find a way to escape. Because sometimes that happens. Like, you can push the bombs. Like, directly into you. Unicorn stump? Well, it gives us invincibility. Well, let's save that there for later. I'll open this. Oh, it's not that great. Because I feel like Dr. Fetus and Tammy's head is good if you can get away from your own bombs. More often than not, if you can't, you're taking more damage than you're doing. Oh, wait, we can actually just bomb our way into the shop as well. Oh, wait, we already opened that because we fought greed. The jar is not that great. Uh, yeah, we didn't get a lot of that from the fire. So we'll take the soul heart, we'll take the key. I said we'll take the key, thank you. We'll look in our top secret room. Okay, I found a rare spot you can be safe. But again, you have to have good speed. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Oh man, all these pills are bad. Only one of them is good, and that's one of the one I already had. Oh, there's a blood bank here. No, wait. What am I doing? I gotta go back for the unicorn stump. So if I'm gonna be milking the blood bank for what it's worth, I should at least have some invincibility. So I think we'll hold on to the unicorn stump for a good while. Until we get a payout with a blood bag. Oh yeah, well at least we'll get a lot of money out of it. Just remember, a unicorn stump only needs one room to charge. So that'll save us a lot of trouble. Oh, oh. That's amnesia, that's locked down. That's crap. I mean, the unicorn stump is not crap. In fact, it's kind of saving me. But just for damage potential, I'd rather stick with the, um... Well, Tammy's head. Just for that damage potential. Ooh, this could be interesting. So, let's go back, take Tammy's head. It's got a full charge anyway, which is good. Hopefully we can find an arcade. I'll just wait over here and just let them kill themselves. That's pretty much what they're going to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we just got away. It's this tarot card. Ah, another hero fan card. I'm going to use that right now. I don't know why I'm still taking this luck down pill with me. There's no tangible benefit to doing so. As far as I know. Because <laughs> I don't think... I heard that PhD does not change bad pills to good ones. It just reveals what they are now. 
Actually, you know what? Two of hearts is much better to take than, well, obviously the luck down pill. Okay, there is an arcade. Oh, that's sweet. Sweet as sugar. I mean, I, that sounds blatantly obvious. Oh, it didn't have a shell game. That sucks. I would have liked to play that. Do I really have to go back for the unicorn stomp? Eh, yeah, might as well do so. Alright, gotta min-max my way to success. I could also check out the boss trap room if I really wanted to. So taking damage may not be such a bad idea in the grand scheme of things. Which now we pay out with the blood bag right away. Which I would not be disappointed with in the slightest. Now we got the luck foot, so we can probably gamble on this as well. Or just leave it alone. That's not a bad idea either. Sure, why not? Oh, that's why. Oh god, dark one. And I don't have invincibility either. Okay, we're not getting many practical uses out of our bombs this way. Cause Dark One just won't stop dashing through the snow. In a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> then again, by the time you're watching this, Christmas is long over. So I'm just realizing what date this is. And by the time this episode is up, if I do one daily, yeah, it'd be well beyond Christmas. That's the thing about Isaac, I mean, once you pop, you just can't stop. Oh, bookworm is useless. Then again, I've already used that comparison. Yeah, let's go back for that extra health. Go back to playing the blood bank. Give me something real awesome. Please? I don't mind. Oh yeah, fanny pack! I didn't realize I still had that. It's only just now kicking in? That was a bit of a delayed reaction. I mean, I had that for a long time. Maybe Azazel is just gonna have bad luck no matter what. Luckfoot is kind of worthless. You barely notice the difference. Oh, kinda noticed that. It's keeping me in it, I must say. <laughs> Give me keys as well. That's great. Okay, that kind of looks like a vagina there. You see the ovaries and all that? <laughs> That's funny. I know this sounds boring, or it looks boring, just watching me gamble constantly. But I mean, a blood bag will really swing us the right way. We did take lard long ago. Oh, we got an orbital out of that. I should just keep exploring more rooms. Just for combat. You know, just giving us more charges for the unicorn horn, obviously. There we go, and that gives me... Flatworm? That doesn't pay out either. Yeah, like, Dr. Fetus bombs are obviously not affected by the worm trinkets. Worm trinkets just sounds like something terrible for your dog. It's like, he had worms once, so here's a trick in to remind you of it. Assuming it was a he, if, if that's your dog, gender. I don't mean that in a way, like, if you were a dog, this is your gender. Okay, Mancho, you gotta cut that shit out. You need to die now, okay? It's ordained for you to die here. You got nothing else to live for, you're stuck here. You can't go into pits. Just give it up. Man, my timing is really off. I gotta be more patient. Oh, come on. Die already, thank you. Oh, now we can't leave because there's now more hosts in the room. Should've waited for the doors to open, then blow up the skulls. Oh, this one gives me another Hierophant. I would consider, like, a 
gambling away some of these soul hearts, but remember they take the evil heart first. So that's first in the rotation. Oh, there we go. I told you all that patience would pay off eventually. But I think I'd rather stick with Tammy's head, even though Unicorn Horn did allow this to happen. Alright, so let's go take on Mom. After like over a half hour in this run, I'm really sorry that it took so long. Oh, that's a full health pill. I'd rather that. Okay, we gotta be patient for when we're gonna use this. I think that was a good time. Look at all that damage I did. But again, I think that could be the leech doing that as well. And the revenge fly. Both of which are very useful. For like clearing out hordes of enemies. Especially the revenge fly. I mean, it's just relentless on enemies. There we go. Let's take our negative. Go to our deal with the devil, which we're always going to get anyway. And Guppy's head? I don't know. I don't think we should really take it. Although, it may not be such a bad idea. I'm going to pass. I mean, it could be Guppy. I already got Guppy's... Did I get Guppy's tail? I think I got Guppy's tail. Yeah, I do have it. But I mean, I can fly anyway. Most of the time you take... Get guppy items, it's just so you can fly. I mean, the blue flies are not bad either, but still. See? That's one thing I really hate about it. Because you're always going to be pushing your bombs pretty much all the time. Because the separation... Oh, that's bullshit. You spawn right on top of me. That's petty, man. Petty man, petty man. <laughs> I don't think that would be something worthy of like an anthem or something. Or some kind of song. No, uh, jingle, yeah. Jingle's the proper term, and I almost took damage again. Ah, infamy, that might help. I don't think it works on bomb damage, though. Oh, come on! I need to find a more practical use of this. Because right now, this is not working. This is just going to get... Oh, dear. Mr. Megab with this? Because, you know, we're not damaging enough. Let's be even more lethal. Maybe I won't even need Tammy's head if I'm capable to do more damage with Mr. Mega. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. That's crude. No. I'm gonna pass. Boss is over to the left, I believe. Come on, give me some more red hearts. So I don't have to use this full health pill early. I don't really want to backtrack. But I think I'm gonna have to. So let's... Almost used the key there by accident. That would have been lame. So let's take on our boss. If Curse of the Maze allows us to. Mama Goity. Oh. That's even scarier. But at least we're back up to snuff. Ooh. You know what? Little Brimstone's probably not worth it either. None of these are. Yeah, let, let's just go to the next floor. I mean, I'm still going to be firing bombs anyway. I guess we can save, like, uh, Tammy's head for, like, those emergency type of rooms. You know, like, giant rooms? Envy is hardly an emergency situation. I mean, until you start seeing a lot of them. Then you might want to consider just using it just for the sheer crowd clearing. You know, I think it's even worse to do that with Mr. Mega. Because now the scene to escape is much shorter. To the point it's near impossible to escape it. So, I should not be doing that anymore. I better find a, an appropriate spacebar item to replace it. Because this is a very dangerous synergy. 
If I had the means to avoid my own blast damage, then this is awesome. But until that happens, this is not awesome. It's too dangerous. I like that the screen shakes whenever you use like a Mr. Mega Bomb just to show the sheer power. Like, this might be the first time we picked up Mr. Mega in a regular run. Probably seen it in challenge runs, but not in a, an original one. Or a vanilla run. I don't know why I'm still checking for top secret rooms if we know where they all are. Force a habit, I guess. That was kind of pointless to do. Uh, how are we gonna make this work? I think we try it like this. There we go. I didn't want to move too far because I'll probably hit my own bomb myself. That's beautiful. Keep giving me keys so that these chests don't go to waste. You die now. And the secret room hopefully contains something awesome. It's oh that. Lucky Toe? How do I get that? Just for destroying a lot of fire? Or destroying a lot of corpses? Huh. I don't think it would have anything to do with fire. I think it's just destroying all those corpses there because, well, they have toes. Fire doesn't have toes. Oh, that's terrible. Unless you were talking to some guy whose nickname is Fire, probably appeared in Man American Gladiators once or twice. Uh, Guppy's paw. We'll use it once. And then we'll just bring it back. I know, I was looking to replace Tammy's head right away, but... There's not much uh, potential in using uh, Guppy's paw. Not in this juncture. Okay, it was somewhat better to escape damage, but not that great either. So I guess we're going to go down to Shoal and uh, defeat Satan again. Oh, that's right. Last time I was a Zazel, I didn't get to Cathedral or Shoal. I was disappointed about that because I had some sheer power. And it just went to waste. Even though I took no damage against Mom's heart. Now, our secret room contains all money. Ah, uh, Lucky Toe is okay. I don't think it's that great. It kind of functions like a lucky foot to some extent. But in traditional Isaac, it wasn't as powerful. Again, I still take damage, no matter how hard I try to avoid it. I guess I got greedy that I just want to get rid of polycephalus as fast as possible. Polycephalus? More like polysyphilis. That would sound like the name of the worst porno ever. It's like. Polly is horny, and she wants to get syphilis. You would have, like, the worst kind of plot for that. That sounds like D-grade porn. It's like, on a quest to get disease and give the porn industry a bad rap. I mean, why? Also, I can just bomb my way into that curse room. That's gonna save me some health. That will not save me some health if I stayed in there. Okay, Demon Krakos can easily get destroyed. They didn't even try to attack me there. Oh, Husk will not be a problem. I only need two of these. Missing Page? I think we'll take that over the Liberty Cap. Alright, Sane, time for you to go down. Okay, this will go over really well. Sure, let's go nuts. I actually managed to escape that. Kind of left early. Still had lots of health. Oh, that was a bad dodge on my part. Oh, this could be great. Downright dangerous too, but we made it work. Okay, so what do we unlock here? Ah, the Demon Tail! That could be awesome. I've heard some good things about it, but I've never seen it in use. And this pill is 48 hour energy. Not that awesome. 
Even Temis is also not that awesome. Okay. We're gonna take a gamble and go left. Oh, oh, Jesus. Had to find that seam there. Against the, uh, gurglings. Oh, we made it work? That's common cold. Yeah, that's common cold. And that's piggy bank. Just remember, every chest we find now is gonna contain something good. I'm tempted to use Tammy's head again. But I have to resist temptation. Like, that's just gonna put me in the grave much faster. If I just take a risk. Also, I haven't been doing any poison damage. Oh, what the? That can sometimes turn your Mr. Mega bombs into Bob's curse. So it can do poison damage. You're just not always gonna see it. It's not like it's Scorpio or anything. Which guarantees poison damage. Okay, three super rats. Come on. Hook me up with something awesome. This is... Oh, that's not awesome. But we'll use it once. That was probably a Necronomicon, was it? Or Book of Belial. I don't know. We should still keep Tammy's head, you know, to use against the lamb. I mean, worst case scenario, we take some dumb damage at least once. And then we don't have to worry about it ever again. Oh! Oh, we just managed to survive that. Oh, good! X-ray vision! I already know where all the secret rooms are, but... Sure! Reveal them to me so I don't have to use any bombs. You should definitely defeat Super Gluttony last. We might get an HP upgrade out of this. We do! Oh, that's so lucky. Not awesome, but it'll save us an extra hit. Oh, Leech is really paying dividends here. I love it. Bomb bag is kind of redundant at this point. Boss could be over here? Nope. Oh, double adversary. Oh, man, that's so bad. Oh, God. I think I got hit by both of them. Oh, I'm going to get hit by every single brimstone laser. Is that how it's going to go now? I mean, that's what happens when they're both looking at me in a flank. Eventually, one of them will get me. So let's try going left. God, gluttony's everywhere. That was pretty much the best place to use, like, uh, Tammy's head because the room is so large anyway. You have a little bit more windows to escape. Okay, finding lots of health will save me a lot of trouble. Okay, double wretched can be a pain in the ass. I think the thing that I should do when I'm going to use Tammy's head is not stay in the middle of the room. I mean, if I stay in a corner, then, you know, I have a lot more distance to get away. Whereas if I go to the middle, I practically got to hope I find a seam. Because they can all reach the end. Double Mega Ma was no problem at all, thanks to that strategy. Guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You think we should go for Mega Satan again after this? Okay, double gate is very annoying. But thank you, Infamy, for that little hookup. I don't know how Mega Satan is gonna work for a run like this. Halo Flies will save me a little bit of trouble when it comes to... Oh my god, we became Lord of the Flies. We could already fly. So it may seem kind of pointless. But at least that's an, another achievement for us. I've already unlocked that on my casual file, but that's okay. Oh my god, look at me. Simba, you are awesome! <laughs> like if Simba was in Phantom of the Opera, this is how he would look. 
Oh my god. Let's do this. Let's fight the lamb first, obviously. Because, you know, that's the natural order of things. We still needed a lamb victory as a Zazel anyway. And then I say we go for Mega Satan. Because since we got Dad's key, we can make it work. That was a very practical use. Dude, we just defeated the lamb without taking any damage. And we unlocked Demon Baby. This room is still very dark, though. So we're going to lose out on this ability. Actually, we can still take Tammy's head with us. So, I mean, all we have to do is just, you know, open the door and then go back. Like this, see? That door is not going to close again, is it? See, it stays open. I didn't open these? Why don't I go back through this? I'm going to be taking some unnecessary damage. See? But at least I can recover it. See? Like that. And hey, where'd you go? Don't do that, Polly. Oh, there was two of them. I thought I killed both of them. Well, that was kind of pointless, but... Well, that was just dumb. I should just be using my bombs for this. And you did not really pay up with much at all. Should have gotten to the secret room much sooner than I would have all those keys still. Oh my god. Well, at least I have five hearts. And I know how Mega Satan works now. So we should be okay. We got a full health pill if things go horribly wrong. Which we hope does not happen. Okay, Mega Satan, let's dance. I know your attack patterns now. Okay, now we gotta fight the sins already. Guess we got to that phase real quick. Oh, Famine is still in it, though. Not anymore! I'm gonna save Tammy's head for later, though. Oh! I didn't think that scythe was over there. Alright, here we go. I, I say we got a very good chance of victory. I can't see us losing. We're doing so much damage, we're getting through the phases real quickly. Which is what I really like. I don't know how I feel about the leech kicking in there. Because that can sometimes backfire. Because you can't control the leech going for its target. It has a mind of its own. Right, super lost is going to be a pain in the ass, so let's take that out quickly. Just remember to stand in the right spot so you don't take contact... Damn it. Contact damage from those guys. Okay, at least the music is back to normal. That you're not just going to, like, the... Victory music automatically. Like last time. Oh yeah, poison damage is wrecking him. When it comes to those angels, it's pretty easy to tell when it's gonna target like the four sides. Just look for the light in the armpits. If you see it, it's going in the cardinal directions. If not, it's diagonal. It's a bit of a tricky tell, but it is a tell. One of the hands is automatically gone. Wait, why are we fighting regular sins now? Oh, never mind. Okay, now we're on the final phase. I think it's worth using it now. I still took damage, but that's okay. Yeah, sure, that key is kind of pointless, but I'll take it. Am I walking on the precipice or something? Remember, I got Infamy and Halo of Flies to help us. Oh my god, I won. We did it.
ending creepy or what? A demon baby evil... Oh, yeah, that's just demon baby. Alright, there's our Mega Satan victory over there. Does something show up for Azazel doing this? It doesn't, but... At least we got one Mega Satan victory overall. Things are looking pretty nicely all across the board. Well, save for Lazarus, he's only had one run. And that was a, a Satan victory, and that was it. Okay, so... Maybe we should go back to doing some challenge runs. Or we probably won't get this Challenge 11 unlocked until we get the chest. I think we should do a slow roll in the next episode, okay? So let's stop the video right here. Next part, we do slow roll. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.